1984. And we all know she was the first black Miss America, and she was the first Miss America. I don't know, was she the first one to have to step down for naked pictures? I don't know, but my brother, who produces this show from up above, his friend Connie worked with that photographer that took those naked pictures of Vanessa Williams. I always thought that was the best part of her. We love her. Look at her now. She's like so successful. That was like the the best turn, you know, pageant. That's the one. That's the one that he he resigned. No, didn't uh, Don Don, Don Pardo, the other guy, Mister America, Mister Mrs. America, didn't he resign over that or something? I don't know, but I know Vanessa Williams did win, and and she got booted off. But she's like laughing at everyone. Here she she is, Miss America. Next to my 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 cousin had a baby the same day she had a baby, and they were in the same hospital which is pretty fun. All right, what else? Fleetwood Max Rumors is number one for 19 straight weeks on this oh, show. Oh, God. 1977. Oh, God. Good for them. Ringo releases Ringo's Retro Gravore album. Anybody remember that? I sure do. You do? Yeah. Good for you. Good for Ringo. Yeah. Yay, yeah, Ringo! Drum roll Ringo, for Ringo. Ringo looks amazing, by the way. I don't know what he's taking, but I want that. He looks so good, Ringo. He's the best. He's the best. I love Ringo. Yeah, Bewitched so. premieres on ABC TV on this day in 1964. Why the aunt on that show? When she got embarrassed, she disappeared. Oh, <laughs> oh, so the, oh, she was hilarious. What was her name? She was like old and she was like that, right? I can picture her. Yeah, the aunt. The, the aunt? Oh, the aunt. The, old, the, the befuddled. She was always befuddled. Oh, I loved her. What was her name, though? I can't remember. Oh, Mission I can't. Impossible premiered on this day um, in 1967. MASH premiered on this day. This was a big day of shows premiering. MASH was 1972. Wow. The Beatles are paid and then record $150,000. For a concert in Kansas on this day in 1964. 1964, wow. 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 uh, Mickey Mantle gets hits 1999, 2000, and 2001 in his 450th home run game on this date in 1964. The Supremes release Baby Love. On this my baby day. love, love, my God, baby love, love. What a day, love, September 17th, who knew? The Fugitive, <laughs> speaking of, how interesting is this? The Fugitive premieres on this day in 1963. And then, like I said, Sam Shepard's body, The Fugitive, is exhumed for DNA on this same day in 1997. That's creepy, right? Yeah, this is spirit. It's like over my head. Uh, is it over your head? Terrible. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> over my head. Did anybody get that? Cause I thought it was Here it comes again. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Exactly. All right. The Justice Department files first lawsuit to end segregation in public schools on this day. In 1962. Now, where? What happened, man? Uh, what's going on? Hello, hello. Did you get the memo? Right. That was 1962, right. and that was dumb enough that it was 1962. Like what's going on here? Make love, people. Come on. Everybody's the same. We all bleed red. I think. Do we? What? What color is your blood? Um, it's red, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Two male attorneys. Stand in as actress Sophia Loren and producer Carlo Ponti get married by proxy in Juarez, Mexico. How cute is that? Wow, I love Sophia Loren. Who doesn't love Sophia Loren? Oh, I, just I love Sophia Loren. Yeah, that they're, they're like, oh, maybe it was on a talk show. I saw somebody that they're married to her son. It probably was on a talk show. I felt like I knew her, but I probably don't. Americano. First successful separation of Siamese twins happened on this day in 1953. Oh, gosh. Scary. I Am an American Day and Constitution Day, renamed Citizenship Day, is today. Who knew? Wow. Who knew? It's 1953. So what is it now? What is it now? Citizenship Day? 
hello, let's all get along. Yeah, we're all citizens. And I think we should all be able to agree on different topics. We don't have to like everybody. And we just go on our merry way and hang out with the ones you have chemistry with. Get it? And all the rest can go to the cornfield. No, they can play with each other. <laughs> <laughs> they might like each other, and that's fine. I I know, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I always learn from my dog. He goes and takes a walk. He sniffs another dog. Oh, I like you. He sticks the dog. He's like, I don't like you. He walks away. He doesn't say, let's work this out. Let's see. Is it me? Is it you? No, I have chemistry with this dog, and I'm going to hang out with this dog. I don't have chemistry with you. Go hang out with the ones you have chemistry with. What's the problem? Yeah, when all the dogs are hanging around the corner, smelling each other's butt. Yeah, they it reminds me of a bunch of gossip. Was, yeah. Oh, that one, look at that one. Exactly. Oh, but, one. But, but they get it. They, they trust their instinct. I love dogs. Jackie Robinson is named Rookie of the Year by Sporting News on this day. You go, Jackie Robinson. And Queen Victoria, this is hilarious, she disbands the British Parliament in 1900. So, like, what happened? Did they, like, when she died, did they say, or did they just, like, make a whole new parliament? Like, could you imagine? I wish there were, I don't wish there was a queen in America. I mean, I think Kim Kardashian thinks she is the queen. But um, wouldn't it be funny if they would just say, I'm dismissing the entire Congress. Congress. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then we'll just. They won't go away. What do they do? Do they make a new one? Or do they just disband? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they weren't playing the right music. Birthdays today. Paula Jones. Who remembers who she is? Yeah. She was born in Arkansas. She sued President Bill Clinton for sexual harassment. Whoop, whoop. Case was dismissed, but while on appeal, Clinton paid Jones secretly $850,000. Wow. He didn't do the other one either. Well, I met the other he one. He didn't consider it sex. I, it was only like moral she, sex. He got the moral so job. Because yeah. he got off. I love Bill Clinton. Don't get me wrong. Chelsea, he got a wonderful dad. Um, <laughs> she does. She's a lucky girl, right? Brian Singer, born in New York, New York. Film director, producer known for work on The X-Men, Superman Returns, The Usual Suspects. Who doesn't love that movie, The Usual Suspects? I love that movie. Best movie ever, right? I love that movie. We're the unusual it's suspects. It's birthday today. Happy birthday, Brian Singer. Cassandra! Miss Elvira herself. It's her birthday today. <gasps> I love her. I was once told that I was reminded, I, I reminded someone of a drunk Elvira. Thanks so much. I, I took it as a compliment, but they didn't mean it as one. But um, I love Elvira, so happy birthday, Elvira. I can't believe one day I was compared to you. Um, John Ritter's birthday is today. Mwah. Happy Aww. birthday. I hope you're partying with John Rivers and Robin Williams. Lamont McLemore, born in St. Louis, Missouri, rock vocalist for the Fifth Dimension's birthday is today. Anne Bancroft's birthday is today. She was Mrs. Mel Brooks. Roddy McDowell's birthday is today. And angels, people who passed away on this day. This is hilarious. Katharina Dalton, the world would never be the same without you, and now you're going to find out why. She was the doctor writer who coined the phrase premenstrual syndrome, PMS. Oh, I love this lady. Oh, my God. She, she passed away at, at 88 years old on this day. What would we call it? Bitch and Red Skeleton's birthday is today. Red I don't Skeleton. Know. He's Red an Skeleton. Angel. He passed away. Red Skeleton. Skeleton. Yes, he is Red Skeleton. But he, yes, he died at age Clem Cladida Hopper. Spiru Agnew. We all know who that. Fuck. <laughs> we all know Spiro Agnew. Yes, yes. Richard Nixon's. Um, what was his name? What's his name? What's his? What was um, W's guy? Who's the vice president? Oh, you mean the, the guy that couldn't spell potato? No. Laura Ashley, the Welsh fashion designer, she died by accident on this day. Oh, Laura Ashley. And that's enough of that. You ready to meet some guests? Yes. And do you want anything to say about your Steel Notes magazine? Anything important? Yeah, everybody has to check out Steel Notes magazine. You go on the computer and type in Steel Notes magazine. And check it out. Yeah, it's cool. We'll talk about it more. We'll be back. Yeah. 
What's that you say? 